We will direct every resource at our command, every means of diplomacy, every tool of intelligence, every instrument of law enforcement, every financial influence, and every necessary weapon of war to the disruption and to the defeat of the global terror network. Now, this war will not be like the war against Iraq a decade ago, with the decisive liberation of territory and a swift conclusion. It will not look like the air war above Kosovo two years ago, where no ground troops were used and not a single American was lost in combat. Our response involves far more than instant retaliation and isolated strikes. Americans should not expect one battle, but a lengthy campaign, unlike any other we have ever seen. It may include dramatic strikes, visible on TV, and covert operations, secret evening success. We will starve terrorists to fund them, turn them one against another, drive them from place to place, until there is no refuge. And we will pursue nations and provide aid for safe haven to terrorism. Every nation and every region now has a decision to make. Either you are with us or you are with the terrorists. I have two words for you, predator drones. You will never see it coming. You think I'm joking? There's no doubt that uh, civilians were killed that shouldn't have been. You have to take out their families. When you get these terrorists, you have to take out their families. They asked me, why do you think about waterboarding, Mr. Trump? I said, I love it. I love it. Biggest threat. Guantanamo Bay. Which, by the way, which, by the way, we are keeping open. Which we are keeping open. You can't get, you can't act with impunity. Be careful.